This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It reflects my real life interview experiences so that you can learn from them, not an attempt to leave my current workplace. I like my desk job, okay? Please direct all reaction, comments, and queries in the comment section. And for further contact, you can contact me at sibiyakosnati26 at gmail.com. Thank you. Let's begin oversharing. Let's start from the beginning. So the company reached out to me. They said they read my profile. They like what they read. And they want to know if I can be able to interview for this position or if I'm looking for something. I was like, okay, let's take it and see where it actually leads us. And this position in question was actually an intermediate software engineer. So I also wondered how I will be on scale, you know, out there because I know I'm an intermediate software engineer. I wanted to see how things will go. Okay, from there, they just set up the meeting and checked up my calendar. And then it was a 30 minutes call between the recruit and also uh, another guy I think is also uh, let me not mention names but I think it's also in the recruitment space that been with the company for some time 30 minutes call we just had a chat and then they asked me more about my projects what I work on what kind of tech stack I do what is it that I'm looking for what kind of environment ticks and all of that sort of more like a chat to see if we just align and if we want to take it further that was the first that was the first call and from then they came back to me and said they'll give me an assessment and they gave me a technical assessment to complete so it was kind of like a smaller full stack project so i had to do uh, .NET, of which something that i'm familiar with so i went on but the tricky part was this was back in april so it was during the holiday season so i didn't really have that much time because i they gave me just a week before the holidays and i also had my own plan so i couldn't get to it and they gave me a week so i only had to do it when i came back the following week so i had like a day to do it but knowing that i always have a structure on how i architecture my projects and all of that so i didn't have a problem with that just a small not really too huge project that had a bit of like consuming apis in the back end just to see how you structure stuff how what's your infrastructure like and what's your the testability of your code i think that's what they were looking for testability of your code the architecture of the project how you can be able to extend the project so uh, how you are using like principles solid principles and object oriented principles i think that's what they were looking for mostly so i did the project and yeah just within the just within before the deadline i managed to package everything and i sent it over the only bad thing within my project that i was aware of is that i didn't write unit tests for it because i didn't really have that much time i know people like test driven development but yeah i just sent it over i think now i'm getting in too much into the technical technicality of the project but yeah that's the project that they gave me to do so in the front end they said you can use angular react whatever i use react and typescript sent over the project and waited for them i think they took about a week or so if you need counseling you are feeling overwhelmed whether it's couples counseling it's individual counseling open ear has professional psychologists ready for you it is private you can schedule anytime you want and it is very affordable the link in the description make sure you take care of yourself and take care of your mind and yeah Went through the project and then from there they invited me into a technical interview in person i think that was more to about to discuss the project and how everything ended up why I do like since you they give you an assessment they know anyone can write assessment so the companies will usually invite you to in-person technical interview or they'll just have a technical interview to, to just see how you decide on the architecture what influenced this decision and all of that so that's what the things those are the things that they usually look for so they invited me over i was like okay cool they gave me slots and i drove over to there and yeah had two senior architectures yeah two senior architectures and the recruiter in the room as well and uh, funny enough i thought they're gonna give me a laptop or something and then they had already went through the solution so they wanted to just uh pick my mind see why you chose this why all of this so started very lightly it was a one hour interview started very lightly and started uh, chatting just to make me comfortable i guess because they don't just want to get into the technicality because you know you're in a room you don't with these people who are a potential employer so you'll definitely be nervous so sat down we started having a chat just telling me about yourself and then they started going through the project and telling me what they found interesting and all of this why i picked this why didn't i take this thing and whatnot those kind of questions and the other guy i don't think he had 
he had seen the project or what I've done and then from there the other, guy, the other senior architecture was telling him oh he did this here and here and there and then he was questioning some of the things and then of course I had to say okay I picked this because of that ask me well, how would you want to improve this kind of a project maybe if we gave you like what would you do differently and then yeah brought up the unit testing things and then yeah and then more we started talking about the projects i worked in uh what kind of projects uh really like gets me going what am i comfortable with what do i look for and then i did even ask them for i did even ask them like if you were doing the project like what areas would i improve on and it was sounded all positive because it sounded like i did exactly the structure that they do and they were very happy with it and yeah they really the interview was really going well really really going well and then yeah they even said well done congratulations there and then that was the first time you actually seeing that okay you know what you're actually going the right way while you're doing the interview itself i was like okay i was i killed it because i was like i went there ready to defend my code and also ready to like learn and also hear because when i saw the the invite to the in-person interview i was like yo two senior architectures i have no idea how these people architecture their project they might use net uh they might use whatever that i'm using but it might be just so different so i'm going in knowing everything that i chose and yeah i'm ready to say why i chose this why this line of code so i i already know my project so i'm like okay i'm ready for this and i'm open because that's one people really miss out the most like they're ready to defend their code but not willing to learn like you really you have to go there with an open mind as well so yeah uh the interview went very well actually it took like about 40 minutes and then sh uh, they shook my hand like congratulations well done and then that's when i it clicked like yo okay i've done really well i've done really well and yeah they even asked me if i used ai i was like sure the research and all of this i had to use http client which is something that i was not really familiar with and it was really fun doing it like actually like doing something that i don't really do and turns out <laughs> i'm gonna be doing that at work now <laughs> i'll be doing something very similar at work so that was a, actually a very cool thing because i also learned a few things that i was not aware of i used some few libraries even in react i'm getting carried away i'm getting carried away when it comes to the technicality of the project but let, let's leave that and then uh 40 minutes passed and then uh the recruiter said uh they'll hit me up so we can start talking numbers and stuff and yeah and they're like should we hit you up or we can talk here we started talking and then like okay we'll do a follow-up and then we'll talk and yeah that was mostly it already i was being given the offer verbally and yeah that's when i knew i did very well but yeah i did get the offer verbally but that's where we had to sadly cut the, cut the conversations and yeah i think the next step was to see the ceo and they wanted to they were to meet the ceo because the ceo meets everyone personally so i was like okay appreciate it and all of that but yeah i don't think it's gonna work out for us and yeah sadly i didn't accept i didn't go to meet the ceo and that's where it cut short so the summary of the entire video and the entire process of the interview is firstly uh they 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 were the ones who reached out to me so after that they said the first interview which was like 30 minutes very nice call chilled and yeah because i was getting very a lot of green flags and then from then it was the technical assessment which was supposed to take a week and yeah yeah the timelines though because the holiday seasons and then after that it was the in-person technical interview where we had the senior architectures and then from then you had to go meet the ceo personally or via a call because he oversees the engineering team when they do the hires and then you i will have been hired so more like four rounds interview but i will take it as three so yeah that's that's my experience i'm not gonna mention the company of course and yeah i hope you got something out of it and yeah i know the other one i did mention that okay it was not going bad it was not going very well on the technical technical interview part because yeah it was a different dynamic that i was not used to but i'm very much confident when it comes to take it take home assessments because i get the time i get to think about this i get to do research i get to come out with a very solid solution and yeah i think i don't have that too much pressure the pressure will get to me when they start asking me but with live coding interviews it's something that i have to try to improve on and then maybe i might take one interview in the next future and i'll tell you about it how it goes as well so yeah that's about it and yeah thank you for watching i guess this was the comeback i didn't do the well very well on the other one and i did quite well on this one because yeah 
uh, I think I, I just had seen while I was doing the interview, first time interview, being told congratulations, well done, while doing the interview, I was like, heck, okay, this is nice, man. Yeah, let me not talk too much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one, probably a vlog, and don't forget to subscribe, of course.